Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a little review on a trailer that we purchased 18 months ago, the Freedom Express Ultralight Edition 246 RKS. We bought, bought it in Texas, San Angelo, which is approximately 1,200 miles from Southern California where we live at. We did that because we found it for 30% cheaper, so we decided, hey, we're going to travel, let's go ahead and make a trip out of it anyway. I like to show you the good, the bad, the flaws, pretty much how the trailer has held up. Since then we have purchased a set of tires. The original ones were Castle Rock. Here on my original tires, on the slide side, you can see where it's wearing out a little bit on the inside. But once they switch out the tires to new ones, it looks like the jack wasn't exactly on the side of the axles. And they kind of bent it maybe a little bit. But it looks like it did good because the new tires are wearing out really good. And those lasted around 16,000 miles. They held out pretty good. My speed limit, pretty much 57 miles an hour, 95% of the time. So I didn't want to take a chance going too fast in case of blowout or whatnot. These here tires are Goodyear Endurance. So far, they're working out really well. So this trailer we have been to 36 states. We took three trips, approximately 8,200 to 9,500 miles each trip. All right, here's how many miles in each trip. So you have the miles and the trip. That's not counting to pick up the trailer, which is another 1,200 miles driving back, and the local camping that we did. Each trip lasted two months long, so we have six months of travel and time out of state, Texas, New York, Michigan, Minnesota, all around. Um, we have slept in it 212 nights, and I'd like to give you just uh, how it's been holding up. So let me show you what I like about it. All right, let's start off first with that window in the front. We love that there. We love that you got a view of the lake, the trees, and our bed is right behind that window. So uh, super nice. It's a windshield, so it's pretty durable. You got the lights. We love the lights in the front. Just the whole looks of the front end we like with the diamond plate. It just has a, a nice look. We like the bright colors of it. I mean, super nice. We like it. Um, I have the two batteries. It only came up one, but I installed two batteries, the solar panels, and the converter. So we could go ahead, a little off-grid. Your passage, it came with a grill, a table, Right there. And then it also has another table. Well, let me show you the gas line in the bottom there. So you don't have to worry about propane bottles and running out. But there's a table. So it all came with the trailer. Super nice. We use it a lot. You know, put the on and out. And then it has an area for the TV, the cable with your plug-in. So you could bring out your TV set, watch TV, play cards, and whatever. All right, let's get on the other side. All right, I just love how all the hookups, everything's on one side here. That is super nice. I've seen some trailers that have the hookups of fresh water on the opposite side. This one, everything's right there. You know, you have your, your sewer here. You got a rinse, a little shower to rinse off your holes when you're done. And that little, little valve right there is for the black water rinse. And everything's conveniently right there. Next, you got all your hookups here. You got your fresh water dump valve. It's on the bottom. I mean, it's super nice. Just, uh, I just like it. Just everything's on one side here. I don't have to worry about running lines across to the other side or anything. I mean, we like the super wide axle spacing on tires, but a little quality control. Our brake lines got pinched. This side here, coming back from Texas, rode about a thousand miles, and we didn't even know they were pinched. I didn't have no brakes. So that's a quality control there. But it uh, shouldn't happen. I was lucky I caught it. But yeah, we like we like the wide axle. The slide, it doesn't slide out. It's only like 18 inches, so you don't have to have, you know, worry about having a lot of room. You're going to hit something. If you're in a tight space, all you need is 18 inches to get that slide out. 
So that's a lot of things I like about this here. Um, the water tank was leaking and it was because of the hose clamp that they put on. And it is what it is. I fixed it. But uh, overall, super like it. Super nice. Handles good with those wide spacing. My 1500 truck takes it real nice. Your fresh water fills right there. You got your ladder. Spare tire. Just super nice. We like it a lot. You got the little compartment on the side. We put trash bags and stuff like that. And if you ever had this type of step, they're really nice, but just get a different type of pin. I actually fabricated that there, so in and out, easy. You don't have to worry about a little snubby thing there originally. I just made it with a little handle, pull them out, go in, boom. I like this little profile, two steps only. You know, you don't have to worry about a big old step and slamming on you but all right let's go ahead and check out the inside okay here we are inside my trailer and i'm not sure where to start if we should start at the good what we like about it or should we uh start the negative so uh i guess uh we could start at the negative and the wear and tear i'll show you that first one thing was the microwave on each corner, it literally cracked. With that many miles on this here, you know, it's not unexpected to get stuff like that. So uh, I had to fix that. That was one of the wear and tear. The second thing I will show you is under a table, the well broke on one of these here, right there. So that was, you know, so many roads up and down, bouncing around, and Louisiana has some terrible roads over there. Um, Michigan has some terrible roads, so uh, that, I understand, that was a uh, wear and tear. Another thing was this here thermostat. The wood is only like, I don't know, one-eighth of an inch. So much bouncing around that the screw came loose, so I had to fix that. I didn't drill right into the wood. I did a little different thing, and I'll show you that maybe on another video. I'm not sure, but uh, I fixed that. The wear and tear on this hanger. The hanger, one of them broke. So I temporarily put tape on here until I order some new... Uh, hangers and I replaced them so um, I was only re able to replace all except one because a new one stripped out um, I guess you could say wear and tear where it started leaking behind the faucet here the, the knobs so they put silicone all the way around the top but not the bottom so if it does leak and I notice water on it so I fixed that Another thing wear and tear was uh, behind the sink here, the control lines was uh, starting to notice a little drippy water and you can see right here, it started expanding my board there, right there. So uh, all I had to do is tighten up the lines on that. Um, on the pedal for the toilet, it started leaking right inside here. So I took that apart, put some new plumber's grease on it. Everything looked good and it's been uh, good ever since then. So that was another wear and tear. So overall, I think it held up really good on the wear and tear. Nothing uh, that I could think of happened in the bedroom. So next, let's talk about the bad. And what I mean by that is we looked at a lot of other trailers. And 
you know, I know, I know they build them kind of quick, a little shabby. I'm going to show you a few things I don't like. Um, quality control issues, shabby work, but like, uh, you'll see right here. It's been like this since day one where you can see all the staples, little holes like they have them all around. It's a little hard for you to see, but uh, see them right there. Um, another thing right here, I see them all along here. You get them all over the place, even along up here. Let me find another bit. Oh, right here. See them right there. A little shabby work. You can see them all, all along there. And that looks shabby. It's just quick. I know they're production, but still, you gotta look at that. I'm sure there's a different way of doing that. You can see them all right there. That's one they don't like. Um, <clears throat> the second thing is on our towel holder. This is only thin, thin wood here. And you can find some support behind this panel in but uh this whole thing was starting to tilt down so the holes on this side was getting on elongated and this side was into some wood and it didn't move so i was able lucky enough to move it over by an inch and i was able to catch wood behind this panel and wood and still on this one here so it's pretty solid so uh, I fixed that the second thing I'm gonna show you some pictures what was wrong but that whole pipe coming out of the in feet of the toilet it was so much pressure on it that uh see if I can zoom in right here and it was bending this hair and it was leaking there and that was like excuse me that was like in the first week of owning the trailer. The third thing, kind of the pan here, when you step around here, this area here, it'll, it'll push down. And the wood that they have underneath it was up to here. So I had to make a new support underneath, new wood, and it's so much firmer now. So I fixed that. That was a little quality thing because, you know, people do step in the shower and it'll flex in that little area. All right, another thing was quality control. It's our skylight there, a little vent. One morning, I woke up and our bed was wet all around here. And it was leaking. All water was coming from here. And what happens when they put the skylight in, they made the cutout bigger that when they put the die core in there, it's, it's sunk down, and when it rained, the water went through that sunken down area, the opening. It was leaking. So that's quality control there. But, uh, that was some of the, you know, quality control, a little shabby work. Oh, another thing wearing tear, which I forgot to mention. Our furnace stopped, stopped working, and I'm showing the couch or the chair here because it's underneath there. That was a simple fix. I was able to fix that because uh, we're in Missouri. Here, I'll show you a little map. It's all the places we've been to. Um, we got that map empty, nothing on it, and we've been to 36 states. Some of them two, three times, three separate trips, and... Uh, had a great time. So the trailer has been used a lot. But I, I keep the upkeep on it. I uh, lubricate the axle bearings after every trip. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you the good about it. What we like about it. We like that we have our table. You can eat, play cards, computer, whatever you want to do. And you have the couch. For, for being under 30 foot. Because I think we're 28.2 feet so uh, yes i wish we had recliners but uh, the couch is good we buy a little ottoman route 66 yay um 
That's a good thing. We like the setup. We like that. You got a lot of countertop right here. Put your remote. You got a place to put your shoes or sit down to put your shoes on. Look at the look at the space here. We have places for the fan. I love storage under a bed. Put my gym bag, clothes hamper, have enough room for both of them. And like I said before, we had that front windshield, which we love that. Closets on each side. You got your charging ports. That's all my um inverter controls there. So we're traveling. If you just want to run a extension cord, you could plug in to the gray one, and that'll be a designated plug for the inverter. And if you want to do, put the cord on the outside and turn the, um, the controller, actually, I'm sorry, the, the um, converter, so you're not charging batteries, you could run the whole trailer. And I could pretty much run everything except for the air condition. But uh, yeah, we like that. We like that we got a place for shoes underneath, and we like the drawers on the side. That's super nice. Um, plenty of storage on top. So overall, we're real happy with the trailer. I think it handled pretty good. Yes, it's not perfect. Um, yeah, it looks uh, still looks good. So. Uh, so yes, overall we're very happy with the trailer. It's been a great trailer, been a lot of places, a lot of miles on it, and trust me, the roads, ugh, that's some terrible roads out there. So uh, just uh, keep the maintenance up on it. Um, you should be good. The Some of the quality control, you know, cheaper materials we use isn't that great, but uh, overall we're very happy with the trailer. And would I buy another coachman? Yes, I would. So, uh, there goes our review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos. And we'd love to have you guys with us and uh, sharing our videos, memories with you. Thank you. Please subscribe and please like. Thank you. Mm -hmm.